I'm going to show you now another feature of Gliss. Um, again, this is all uh, subject to change. You know, this is still beta firmware and there's still work to do, but um, I still, oh, it's already doing a lot of fun things. So this is the recorder mode. Uh, you record the gesture Ooh. and it gets played back at you immediately. And then you, know, you can Ooh. just trigger it with a button or by, by pressing the button, or maybe you connect an external clock that does that for you. So now you have uh, an envelope generator essentially that you can program just by sweeping. Well, I guess this is a bit too fast right now. The LFO is triggering that. generator you can just use uh, um, make it so that it re-triggers itself every time it gets to the end okay uh, so you get an LFO uh, and the period of that LFO is the natural duration of the of the gesture um, of course you can make that as long as you want I mean you get maybe one minute at this moment uh, of recording Sorry, the frequency as we're doing right now, you can control instead the, um, the face of the oscillator. Sorry. Okay, so let me draw in a gesture here. Uh, I'll do bottom, top, mid. Okay. Now I'm saying I control. I can control the phase of that. So essentially, I recorded the wavetable and I can scrub through the wavetable with the input CV. I'm sending in the CV going from zero to five volts. See as an output, I'm getting that uh, top, uh, sorry, bottom, top, mid gesture that I just recorded in. Okay. Of course, I can run that. Uh, I don't have to do that manually. I can send in a, a sawtooth. Uh, um, there's an issue here. Uh, the module I was using was a zero to five volt. Has a zero to five volt output. This one is zero to ten. So I'm just gonna adjust the input range per second. Get into the menu. So get into the menu, um, global settings, input, now it's set 0 to 10. Right, so the green line you see here is my input sawtooth, and the red uh, display there, that's the output uh, of Gliss. So that's scrubbing through the, uh, the wavetable that I just, that just recorded in there. I can do, I don't know, top, mid, top, mid, top, down, and you get something like that. Um, okay, so of course, if you send in a way, uh, if you send in a waveform, um, uh, sawtooth, you just get as an output um, uh, the waveform you're recording. But if you send something different, like an inverse sawtooth, there, uh, you get some more fun stuff. Or let's see, here we have the sawtooth where we can adjust, or which you can adjust the shape. So. Right, so you get something like that. This essentially is a is a wave shaper where you can program the transfer function on the fly. 
Um, and so that's that can be a lot of fun, I guess. Sorry for the little cut there. Um, just a few more examples of, of the Wave Shaper. Thank mm -hmm. you. 